What's up guys, my name is Tyler and today we're going to talk about the Z1 Motorsports HR and VHR oil pan. Okay, so I'm really excited to talk about this project. This thing has a lot of really cool features that you guys are going to love. Most everyone knows what an oil pan is, I hope, uh, but not everyone gives much thought to their oil pan or their oil system, even though it is the most critical part of maintaining a healthy engine. Nissan splits their oil pans up into an upper pan and a lower pan. The factory HR and VHR pan, lower pan, looks like this. It's stamped steel, it's relatively shallow, and it does a pretty good job of keeping oil in the engine. Uh, but you guys already know we aren't going to settle for just okay. Many of you have already purchased our original oil pan solution, the oil pan spacer, which was first introduced back in 2014. This goes in between the upper and lower oil pan, which increases total capacity. Increased oil capacity helps with engine cooling, which helps to extend oil life. The more oil the engine has, the longer it takes for that oil to heat up. Heat and friction break down oil molecules, so having more oil means that each molecule sees less abuse, leading to longer oil life. Our pan spacer also has MPT ports for turbo drain return lines and also for an oil temp sensor. This is a great product and has the benefit of being relatively inexpensive, so it's a great value for what you get. But there's always room for improvement. This is where our new baffled oil pan comes in. This pan is a full cast aluminum lower pan replacement. This will replace your factory lower pan and it will also replace our oil pan spacer for those of you who have that already but are looking for the absolute best possible oil pan solution. So what makes this thing so great? Well, of course we brought over the same features from the pan spacer. It's got turbo drain returns, a temperature sensor port, and increased oil capacity by 0.8 liters. Getting rid of the pan spacer means that you have one less layer of RTV that has the potential to leak. Getting rid of the flimsy factory stamped steel pan in favor of a much more solid cast aluminum pan means that you have a lot more protection against rocks and debris. We've integrated cooling fins into the bottom of the oil pan to help further reduce heat in the engine oil. This circle here is a low point for the oil pump pickup tube. It is not a jack point. Please do not jack up your car from the oil pan. This channel here is intended to allow as much oil to drain out of the pan as possible during an oil change. One thing about the factory oil pan is that about half a liter of oil remains in the bottom because the oil pan drain plug port is angled upward. We ditched that design and put the drain plug as low as possible to provide a more complete oil change. This feature combined with the increased capacity of the pan means that you'll need to add roughly an extra 1.3 liters of oil during a regular oil change. Another thing about the factory lower oil pan, if you've ever removed one, you know how difficult they can be to remove without damaging the ceiling surface on the upper oil pan or without bending the lower pan to the point that it's no longer usable. We got tired of this, so we solved that problem as well. This extra hole in the ceiling flange has M8 by 125 threads, a common size on Nissan vehicles. When you need to remove our oil pan, all you have to do is remove all 10 bolts and then find an M8 by 125 bolt that is at least 20 millimeters long. You'll thread that bolt into the hole until it contacts the upper oil pan, and then slowly tighten the bolt. The bolt will push against the upper oil pan until it breaks the RTV seal. Once the seal is broken, it's easy enough to finish prying the pan off with plastic or coated tools to prevent damaging the sealing surfaces. All right, I saved the best for last. Let's talk about the active baffles. Now, you may be wondering, what is a baffle and what makes it active? Baffling in an oil pan serves the purpose of making sure that the oil pump pickup tube stays constantly supplied with fresh oil. During everyday driving, it's really not an issue, but if you're on track and you're in the middle of a turn, the oil in the pan is all gonna slosh to one side. This still isn't an issue unless the oil sloshes so far over that the oil pump pickup tube starts to suck in air. Sucking in air means that your oil pressure will drop until the pump can get more oil. This can lead to oil starvation, and it is a very, very bad thing, and can relatively quickly lead to engine failure. Passive baffles generally just look like walls that stand in the way of the oil slosh and keep oil closer to the pickup tube. Passive baffling usually works fairly well depending on the design, but it's not the best. The best solution is active baffling. Active baffling changes as the direction of the oil slosh changes. For our oil pan, we integrated an active baffle design from 80s DTM race cars like the Ford CR RS500 and the BMW E30 M3. This active baffle design consists of an aluminum plate with two holes for oil to pass through and two Viton rubber flaps that only allow oil to flow in one direction. Each oil pan gets two baffle plates, 
with the baffle flaps installed from the pickup tube side of the plate. This means that when oil tries to slosh to one side of the pan, it's allowed to enter the center cavity, but it's not allowed to leave. To demonstrate this, we made an acrylic cover for one of our pans and sealed it up with some oil inside. The best way to simulate oil slosh, similar to what would be seen on track, is to simply use gravity. So as the pan tilts to the right, the g-force increases and the oil begins to move as it would in a long, sweeping left-hand turn on track. You can see that the center cavity fills up quicker than the right cavity, the cavity that would be on the outside of the turn. So the oil from the left cavity, the cavity on the inside of the turn, is supplying the center cavity with oil through the baffle flaps. Now, imagine that the left-hand turn leads into a long, sweeping right-hand turn. Let's see what happens to the oil in the pan. The center cavity remains filled while the oil slowly leaks into the left cavity past the small gaps around the aluminum plate. Of course, that isn't a perfect representation of what's really happening inside of an engine. For one thing, the oil level normally sits above the baffle plates, so you'll have oil flowing freely over the tops of the baffle plates. But what that demonstration shows is that these baffle plates are highly effective at keeping the oil pump pickup tube supplied with oil and preventing oil starvation. All in all, the Z1 Motorsports baffled oil pan for the HR and VHR platform is the best possible oil pan solution there is. You won't find another pan packed with more features and more ready to hit the track. That wraps up this episode of Behind the Design. Please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and comment on what products you'd like to see next. Huh?